to another vlog. This vlog is a continuation of the previous vlog. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you watch that one so you're caught up with what is going on in this one. I'm in the middle of restocking my shop. My shop restocks tomorrow and I still have to take pictures and make all the listings of all the new plants. At the moment, there's plants everywhere and it is crazy in here, but I'm trying something different this time around for the restock where I don't drop all the plants at once. I'm trying to just drop a few at a time. So right now I'm trying to figure out how I can keep track of the plants that are on the shop and the ones that aren't on the shop. And I think I kind of have it figured out how I'm gonna do it. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is pick and choose which plants I know for sure I want on the shop this week and put them aside so that I can get pictures of them. And then everything that's not on the shop, I'm going to sit it on the top shelves up there so that I know for sure that they are not on the shop yet. And then whatever is on the shelf is gonna get moved into the middle shelves or the lower shelf. And I think that's just gonna be the best way that I can keep it organized for myself so I don't get confused or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go around the room and start picking out the plants that I know for sure I want on the shelf this week. this recently I saw a video of somebody making a backdrop pretty much like this for like uh, product photography and I really loved it so we went ahead and made it ourselves it is not perfect and it doesn't need to be because you're only gonna see the center of it it's literally just peel and stick tiles on a piece of wood and then marble contact paper for like the countertop I guess it's supposed to just look like a kitchen counter or like a bathroom counter or something I'll post an example picture on the screen so you can see exactly what it looks like when the photo is taken. Previously, I was using a solid white background, which I still do use for specific plants, but I was struggling with a lot of the variegated plants because it would blend into the background. So having the tile with like the black grout helps a lot so that it like breaks up the background, I guess. And it's easier for me to like edit the pictures and stuff like that. I am just going to be using my phone. I am back on using my phone again. I know I said I was trying to learn how to do it with the camera, but it just was not turning out good. I was spending way too much time fiddling with it. So I'm just going to stick to what I know and use my phone. So I'm just going to take the pictures now, get them into the computer and then start working on the listings and get the shop updated. everything has been photographed except for these Hoyas here. Since these are like super long, I think it will be cuter just to take a picture of them on like a nice trellis so that you guys could see what it could look like on a trellis. The trellis will not be for sale with the plant and I'll make sure I note that in the listing. 
but I think for picture purposes, it will look better. So I'm gonna hold off on these guys for right now. So I finished everything else. As you can see, the shelves are looking a little crazy over here, especially. I squeezed in everything that I could. We have some Hoyas over here, some more over here, and then these will be put in here somehow. This little bin here, these ones are not for sale, so I think I'm gonna move it to the other side so that I don't get confused. Over here we have some philodendrons and syngoniums, which I am going to reorganize all these plants because right now I just tossed them anywhere because I just needed them out of the way. Here is the detox at the moment, just tossing plants around just so that I could make space. Um, we have the rare anthuriums over here and then up there these are plants not for sale So I think I'm gonna move the other Hoyas over here as well And then we have some more plants over here Also look at these new leaves on some of my anthuriums. This is anthurium michelle. It's like purple. It's so beautiful This is the brielle exara finally new leaf here. We have another one coming in And i'm not gonna grab it, but this is my king of spades crossed with ace of spades look at how big that leaf is in the back it's massive so that plant sizes up so fast this is also a king of spades ace of spades all of these are this one is the biggest out of the bunch i'm really loving this plant lately it's becoming one of my favorites now i'm going to sit on the computer for a little bit and get these pictures edited and start working on updating the shop now this little portion of the video is going to be not plant related. This is more going to be for the small business people. So if you're looking for the plant stuff, feel free to skip ahead. I do use my iPhone for my picture. So don't feel that you need like a really nice camera to get good product pictures. As long as you have a phone nowadays, the phones do so much. So like I said before, I recently changed my backdrop and I really, really like how it looks now. I think that the pictures look so much better. It's more crisp too because you can actually see like all the colors of the plants. It's not like fading into the background or anything like that. So in case you are curious on what I use to pretty much edit the pictures, I use Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom is free on your phone on the App Store, so you can use it on your phone. I use it on my phone, but I do pay for the desktop version. And the reason why I pay for it is because I can sync both between each other. So when I take pictures on my phone, all I have to do is upload it into Lightroom and it will upload it into the PC. So it makes things easier for me. So I do pay for it. And I think that Lightroom is an overall good product to pay for from Adobe. The one thing in particular I love about Lightroom is that you can download presets or make your own presets. So a preset essentially is like a filter, but not really. It's basically just when you edit your photo a certain way, you can copy and paste that whole editing style onto another picture so that it's consistent. So I'm pretty sure you've seen on Instagram, people's feeds are very consistent with the color scheme and everything. It's because they're probably using a filter or a preset from Lightroom. And that's why I really like this because it makes editing your picture so much easier. So all I have to do is just have my one preset and paste it onto every single picture. And that allows me to batch edit like 400 pictures in like five minutes. Really good tool. Highly recommend it if you're a small business owner and you're looking for some type of editing and something quick. Etsy is a good place to find presets. I highly recommend going to Etsy for presets if you're having a hard time editing your photos. Just look up Lightroom presets or if you're using Photoshop, look up Photoshop Actions. It's the same thing. Basically, people make presets and they sell them for like kind of cheap. Like you can get like 10 presets for like five bucks or something like that. It's definitely worth having your pictures look nice for your shop. If your pictures don't look nice, then nobody's gonna wanna buy it. Product pictures are a huge part, at least for me, when it comes to my shop. And I know for other small businesses, a lot of people really go all out for their product pictures as you should because you want it to look nice so that it can encourage people to buy. When I'm taking pictures of the plants, I just wanna make sure I have all the angles, all the leaves, all the variegation, everything, and what it looks like from afar, up close, everything, so that the customer knows exactly what they're getting. Another great feature about Lightroom is it allows you to watermark your pictures, and I make sure I watermark every single photo that I have for the shop. People do steal people's plant photos and product photos and try to sell them as their own and scam people. So yeah, make sure you watermark your pictures because you don't want your stuff to get stolen. Now I'm going to start working on all the shop listings and scheduling them for tomorrow for 12 noon. I ordered some really cute like clips for the trellis that I have. Came in a pack like this. They are like these little cute dragonfly clips. How cute is this? I hope you guys can even see them. They just clip right onto the trellis to make it easier than using like the little garden tape. 
I know a lot of people use these clips for like their trellises and stuff. I actually found this trellis in one of my like plant junk bags that I have. So I'm gonna start using this for some of the trailing Hoyas that I have just for picture purposes. So let's see what it looks like. better than like what I thought and these clips do not like hold on to it that well maybe if I like tried really hard it would look nicer but I'm just trying to get some pictures I guess I really don't know what I'm doing this is not something that I normally do for <laughs> my Hoyas or anything I just want it to look nice for pictures but um it kind of looks a mess but maybe it will look nice when I get a picture of it so don't judge me all right we're just trying some new things just trying some stuff out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these pictures I just finished doing all the other listings literally five minutes ago so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with these guys and then we will be done for the day. Thank goodness, I am exhausted. I'm so excited to get this all done and out for you guys for this week. monstera alba you guys it is so beautiful this is the last leaf this one was kind of damaged here it's like crusty you can see it and then we got this one it just finished like unfurling this week so pretty this guy is doing really well in this window here and still no signs of any like root rot anymore so it's looking pretty good and healthy very happy about it this leaf over here was the one that's ripped so i just left it alone it's like in the back so it's not that big of a deal this is the first time i've grown a monstera elbow outside of an ikea greenhouse cabinet so this one was already established prior and i really like it in this spot it just like brightens up this little corner for a while I was thinking i was gonna move it down stairs next to the other big monster under my soul sec light but i think it looks best up here speaking about downstairs i still haven't done anything downstairs like with plants at all i have my redsta and my millsville set up down there and they don't have any plants in them at all and then i just have the big monstera downstairs to be quite honest i don't think i'm gonna really be putting plants down there i have a few things down there i have a few plants in my redsta that i've been honestly wanting to bring upstairs the thing is i'm not really downstairs i'm mostly in this room or in our game room next door to this room we really don't utilize our living room at all so yeah that's why i don't really like film down there because because I don't have any plants down there and I don't think I'm really gonna put a lot of plants down there I've always been somebody who does not really like plants all over the house I just like them in specific locations I film mostly up here so those plants down there they are really nice and I feel like they should be seen in the videos as well so I don't really know I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my Millsville or my red stuff I'm gonna keep them for now and see how my plant collection gets in the next few months maybe in the next few months i'll have a ton of plants again and i will refill them but at the moment there's nothing down there and that's why i haven't been showing you guys like how i incorporate plants around the house because there's no plants anywhere besides this room so yeah so this morning i have a few things to do on the computer first so i'm gonna get that stuff done i have to send out some invoices for like shipping costs and things like that today's saturday and we've already got quite a few orders already since the restock i don't think i've updated you guys on how it's been going but it's been going really well the restocks have been getting better and better where we're getting a lot of sales within the first like 10 minutes of me sending out the email so i appreciate you guys so much it's crazy to think that you guys are like waiting for the email and I'm just so grateful for you guys so thank you we're gonna have a good amount of orders to pack tomorrow and then we're shipping out on Monday so we still have today and tomorrow to get some orders and even Monday because I do ship out on Tuesdays as well 
Um, so yeah, we have quite a bit of things that are going out. So what I would like to do today is get my stuff done on the computer. A lot of the featured listings on my shop, the front page, have sold out. So I want to rotate them so that some of the other stuff is on there. So that when you go to the page, it just doesn't say sold out. So I'm going to do that. I also do my annual, like, renewal for my business. Plant Life Flex has hit one year in business as of July 17th, so congrats to me. It's really crazy to think that I've only been in business for a year and in a year a lot has happened. I went from packing a few Etsy orders on the floor in my living room to having a whole studio all in a year. So yeah, that's a whole story on its own. Um, I did receive a comment recently asking for like the whole origin of the story. So maybe I'll talk about that um, in one of these vlogs coming up um, while I'm doing like some repotting or something. I would love to share my story with you guys because I think it's pretty inspiring as well. Um, I'm just a average person who just decided to sell plants and now I have a whole business around it so it's pretty cool. And then what I would like to do is get this room cleaned up because it is a hot mess in here. I would like to organize the plants and clean up in here as well so that I can at least get a couple pictures and videos for Instagram of the room being full because this room is never full like this so I want to be able to get a few videos of that too. But right now I am just fixing a lot of people's addresses because believe it or not a lot of people actually mess up their addresses when they make an order and I also had a few people select pick up even though they meant shipping by accident so I have to go through and fix that as well but luckily I do pay attention to a lot of stuff like that usually I'm pretty quick with stuff like that so I try to make sure that I contact you guys for like corrections like ASAP so that I can get it shipped out because I don't want to have to ship it out to the wrong place you know. I also did my annual renewal just to put it into perspective for New Jersey I think when I first made my LLC it was like maybe $200 I don't remember but um, just so that if you're thinking about making a business you have an idea of how much it's gonna cost you do have to pay first initially to create the business for all the documents and then for New Jersey you have to do an annual renewal the renewal cost me 75 I think it was 75 or 95 one of those for the website I host on I use Squarespace um, another popular uh, e-commerce platform is Shopify both of them do require an annual fee and you have to pay it all up front and the annual fee for my Squarespace plan was I think around $300 so yeah, just keep that in mind. <laughs> this girl is obsessed with me, you guys. Obsessed with her mom. She will not leave me alone. And she's shedding like crazy. So if you see cat hair all over me, that's why. She has like a bad like allergy problem where she gets like itchy and stuff. And it's also causing her to shed. So we got her this like medicated shampoo and like de shedding shampoo. But uh, yeah, hopefully that helps her because my poor baby, she like rips out all her fur and stuff. It's really sad because she's like so itchy. But hopefully this new stuff helps her.
everything has a home for the most part at least for a day because everything's gonna be gone in a day at least it looks kind of good in here i still have to like finish cleaning but i have a ton of other stuff to do and i like to clean on sundays because that's when i'm like done for the week what i need to do now is water everything because everything has dried out so i want to make sure everything is nice and watered before i ship them all out something else that i think I'm gonna do at least like temporarily is these two shelves next to the detox they house my plant and I don't have anything on the bottom shelves besides this bin down here and this bin down here is just full of water propagations which I can easily move I'm thinking I want to raise the bottom shelf up just a little bit so that I can put plants on those shelves. Right now the shelf is like all the way to the ground and that's why I don't put anything down there because I have three cats and they be messing with stuff sometimes so I don't put anything down there unless it's like in a bin like this and they won't mess with it. They are really good girls like they don't really like eat it or nothing but if I put something down there now and they haven't seen it before they're gonna mess with it. So I'm thinking if I just raise up the shelf on the bottom just a little bit and then I can display some more of my plants on there I think I would like that more because it's just been empty and it's been ugly. I think I'm just gonna bring up whatever plants I have downstairs in the Rudsta and bring them up here. They're getting neglected down there because I don't go downstairs like at all. Um, I think that they would just look nicer up here at least for now and then later on in the year I can focus on rebuilding my collection for the Millsville and the Rudsta. So the reason I have so many IKEA greenhouses is because my previous apartment had zero natural light, like none. So the only way I could grow plants was in IKEA greenhouses so all of my plants were just in there. Since I moved this room has so much natural light and it's so big and I can keep everything in here. I just like the idea of having everything here. Yeah, I just think at this moment the plants would look better up here and do better up here just because I spent all my time upstairs. So here is the red stuff. Sorry if you can hear a noise in the background. That is the cat's water fountain. As you can see, there's nothing in here. Um, another reason why I don't put anything in here at the moment is because I lost the clips for the additional shelf in this cabinet. So I can't even put the glass in here. So it's just been sitting underneath of the floor this whole time wrapped up. And then at the top, I have my Carisio Verde, which has a dying leaf. One of my Aglionema, which I always keep like downstairs. It's just like an easy care, like living room plant that doesn't require that much light. And then I have my whale fin over here. I think I'm gonna actually take it out of the basket and bring the basket upstairs for another plant. Um, but my whale fin is putting out a new leaf. We had this whale fin for over a year and it just put out a leaf in this house. So um, it definitely is doing better here than it was at the apartment. But yeah, it's uh, it's good putting out a new leaf. Right, so this is a Pariso Verde. Desperate need of a repot. Um, it's in Pond and Leca. I need to put it in a bigger vessel and give it a bigger moss hole because this thing is just doing whatever. And maybe soon I'll do like a semi-hydro repot for all my semi-hydro plants. This is what's left of the red stuff. This is Monstera Adansonii Alba, Adansonii Mint. This is a propagation of a Florida beauty. And all these plants, they need a serious repot. This is Monstera Adansonii Aria. This is Philodendron Jose Bueno. This is like a really sad dying seedling. This is a regal crossed with a crystallinum. This is like a random propagation. It's like a Burl Marks variegated. It's been growing in this little container forever. I feel so bad. I've just have not had the time or like the want to like touch any of these plants for some reason. I don't know why. This is the bottom half of the pink princess that I have upstairs. So this is the Mills Bowl. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it. Um, yeah, we have some Hoyas that have been growing in here. Um, they've actually like it in here, but they need like a repot like bad. This is my Hoya Multiflora. It's actually blooming, it's shocking. Um, this one is super pretty. I propagate this one a lot though. This is my other Anthurium Queen. It just pushed out this leaf, which is shocking as well. And of course this one is on its way out. So I think I'll just bring this one upstairs as well so I can keep a closer eye on it. And then <laughs> this is my dead obliqua. Oh my gosh. And then this is a Hoya Australis Lisa, which is actually doing really nice. 
considering it's like in this dry ass pond like it's a mess i'm sorry i'll come back to this at a later time and then over here we have my little piper she been chilling downstairs that's why you guys haven't seen her recently she loves being downstairs which is good because i have three cats and piper and evie do not get along they've been together for like almost four years and they do not get along so being at the apartment they would fight a lot because evie had nowhere to like be separated from her because unfortunately piper is a big bully but now since we have the upstairs and downstairs they can have their own space so it's been helping a lot she just does not like Evie and Evie does not like her. Over here, this is the Monstera. He needs a water, so I'll be taking him outside today probably or tomorrow and giving him a water with the hose. But it just chills down here in this corner next to this window. And that is our backyard as well. Um, we keep the cat stuff in the window because they like to sleep in this window because it gets a lot of sun. So quickly about the backyard. I know you guys have been asking that you want to see us like work on the the yard i don't think it's happening anytime soon so one day we were out there like weeding a few weeks ago it was just like the hardest thing i've ever done like it was so hard there were so many bugs we also have a huge wasp issue right now in this house that we've been like dealing with and that's also like preventing us from like wanting to go out there so we have like done a lot of like pest control out there and we did weed a lot yeah it was just like a lot of work and it's been so hot like today is like 95 degrees like it's i can't like we cannot be out there like trying to do this stuff so yeah here is the yard i'm just being quiet because we do have neighbors and they be outside but this is the yard at the moment. We have the concrete on the ground and we're thinking about doing a floating deck like here and maybe extend it out that way. Um, and then doing like gravel where the grass is. We do have some section areas for like plants and stuff. And we do have like two little trees. We did trim these trees and like one of our little bushes out front as well because they were really overgrown. The last people here did not really take care of their garden area. so. That's why it's a lot of work. We just have so much stuff to do. And then in the back, you can see all those weeds. There was so many more, um, but we like gave up halfway. This whole section here was full of weeds. So we did that. Um, and then we have like all these stepping stones here. And yeah, so we're just trying to figure out some stuff. So thanks for being patient, but it's just been really freaking hot and we just cannot be out here doing this. Like I have my hand out here right now and it literally feels like it's on fire. So I'm gonna go back inside. I figured, you know what, let me just repot some of those plants because they need it. I just lift up some of my soil free potting mix here. I'm gonna put them in these six inch pots so that I don't have to worry about them for a while. I'm gonna leave it literally as it is. I'm not even gonna mess with it like that. I'm just going to give this a little bit more potting mix in the bowl. Like that. So I don't have to worry about it for a little while. And there we go, all done. See, I do my repots so fast that that's why I don't record them because I just be moving, like I just gotta get stuff done, you know? Oh, and then I keep all my plants um, in the clear saucers. I get these ones, I think from like Home Depot or Lowe's or like only a couple bucks or like a couple cents, something like that. And I'm gonna do this one as well. This is the Adam Sonii Aria. Back to talking about the yard. I have to tell you guys how stupid we were because we didn't know. So when we were like doing all that weeding in the yard, like there was so much weeds and branches, dirt, like it was just, it was really bad. Like, and that's why like I didn't record it because it was so bad, you guys. Like it was almost embarrassing, but like, I know it's not our fault. Like we just moved here. Like they could have kept better care of their stuff, but they didn't. Um, and that's kind of like a lot of things like in this house, like it definitely was not a house that was like, freshly renovated people were living here for a long time um so a lot of stuff was you know it, it, it needed some like help so um the yard was one of those things it took us like all day and as you guys saw we didn't even finish or anything like that but we had went to like Lowe's and we bought like um 
plastic trash bags, like the black trash bag, to like throw all the weeds in there, the dirt, grass from when we cut the grass. And you guys, if you own a home, you probably already know where uh, this is going. So we put the trash out and they didn't take it. And we were like super confused. I was like, what? Like, why didn't they take this? Like, I don't understand. They didn't take it because at least here, they want you to put all of your grass, weeds, whatever, in like a paper bag for a specific recycle truck to come which obviously neither of us know because nobody like and i guess it's nobody's responsibility but ours but we're first time home buyers i don't know what the hell to do in a situation like that i didn't even know where to look like you know i guess maybe it could have been up to my realtor to like help us like like here's your township like website or something like, I, I don't know. I've been in an apartment for like six years. James used to live in Philly. So he was, he's like a city guy, so he don't know. And I'm like, oh my God, I was so embarrassed because everybody's trash was picked up but ours. And we had like 20 bags of like heavy ass soil and weeds and shit. So I was like, all right, whatever. So we moved the stuff into our garage until, until like the following week. We went to Ace Hardware, which is like down the street and we got, those bags thinking that it would be kind of easy to just pick up the black trash bag and dump it into the brown bag but it wasn't easy at all and because it was sitting for like a week we had also sprayed the grass down and stuff with like insecticide and weed killer when i tell you that stuff stunk so bad. It literally smelled like somebody died. We were just like in the yard trying to dump these bags into the brown bag and it was going everywhere and it was disgusting. It was like soaking wet. There was bugs like, oh my God, it was awful. You guys, it was actually awful. So like after that incident, we just like completely just stopped. We were like, yeah, like I need a break from the outside stuff right now because like we just weren't prepared for that. I wish I just would have known. Like if I just wouldn't, if we would have just known then fine. But I didn't know like to research my townships. Like I, I didn't, I didn't know that. Like I just had no idea like that's, you know, I'm used to being in an apartment where you move in somewhere, they give you all this information. And some of the stuff like right before we moved in, I had to keep asking the other realtor to tell the owners to like, oh, make sure you give me the mailbox key, make sure you give me the garage opener, like like stuff like that. Like they weren't even gonna give us like half of the stuff. And it was just like kind of annoying, you know, like it is what it is. I don't know if that's like a normal home buying process. This is my first house. We're like one of the only courts in this neighborhood that don't have our own mailboxes, which kind of suck. We have like a, those community mailboxes where you have like the key. Um, so yeah, I needed like a mailbox key. Like they weren't gonna give that to me. They never gave us the garage opener. So I had to go buy one and like reconfigure the garage. Like then they had like an extra fridge here that we, we told them that we didn't want. And then like we had to call the township for that and all this like other stuff. Like it was just like a lot of like stupid stuff. Yeah, um, they also left behind so much junk you guys so much junk in this house like the first day of us moving here was us literally throwing out their shit long story short we just need a break from doing the outside stuff and like i said we have that freaking wasp issue like we have so many wasps here there was so many wasp nests in our garage it's just really annoying and it's weird to me to think like they were just like living like that like they weren't trying to like do something there was just so many wasp nests everywhere like by the front door there was one in our patio door the shed outside that i showed you guys full of wasps so james was like spraying everything down and there's like always just wasps like flying around so it's scary as hell to like want to walk outside and do something because i just don't know if i'm gonna get stung or not you know so that's what we've been dealing with and i think at this point I think it's just best for us to wait till it cools down and maybe that will help like with like a lot of the bugs like not being around as like frequent. So yeah, I think we're just gonna take a break from that and focus on some other stuff. All right, I just moved this guy into like a pond and perlite mix, uh, mostly perlite because I don't have any pond. Um, and then I just used the remaining pond that it was already in. So it's not the prettiest, but 
it'll do for now. All right, and I think that's it for the ones that need a repot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting them all organized on the shelves. This restock, I actually had a ton of orders, so thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. I did pack the orders in two multiple days. I packed a little bit on Sunday, and then I finished packing on Monday night the rest of the orders. There was just so many orders that I knew I couldn't finish it all in one day. I decided to take a break for the night and go ahead and finish packing on Monday after I was finished my regular job. We sold so many plants, moss bowls, plant pots everything like that so thank you guys so much i hope that you guys enjoy your new plants that are on the way while i was packing orders on sunday i was still getting a bunch of orders coming through while i was packing so i had to make a decision that was going to work best for me at that moment and i decided to lock the shop down for a few days until the next restock so that i could focus on getting all the orders packed and ship them out on time for you guys the thing with owning a plant store or shipping plants in general is that you have to kind of ship them on specific specific days. For me, I ship them on Monday and Tuesday. Sometimes I will ship plants on Wednesday if the customer does live on the East Coast because I am from New Jersey so it won't take too long for it to get to you. The reason myself and a lot of other plant sellers ship out only on Monday and Tuesdays is because we don't want your plant to get stuck in the mail. At the end of the day, plants are a living thing and if you ship them too late in the week, they will get stuck at the post office over the weekend. So that means that the plant would just be in a box for even longer than it needs to be. So it's best to ship out Monday and Tuesday so that the latest the plant arrives even if there is a delay is Saturday so that's why I needed to make sure I locked the shop down so that I could really focus on getting these orders packed because if I didn't get everything packed up by Tuesday or Wednesday I would have had to wait till next week and I would have felt really really bad like holding on to your orders like that I know a lot of you guys would understand but still I just want to make sure I get everything out on time to you guys my shop will be reopened for orders tomorrow and there will also be a restock so you guys can look out for that make sure you guys are subscribed to that mailing list you can go ahead and click the link 
link that I have in the description to go ahead and sign up for it. I always let the mailing list know first when the shop is restocked. And I also send you guys some coupons here and there specifically to the mailing list. So don't miss out on all that stuff. I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me in my business, supporting all of my social media. You guys made my first year in business amazing and I can't thank you guys enough. So thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are enjoying your day and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.